Here in Fort Smith, breakfast is free for every public school student. But now school lunches will cost you 25 cents more than last year. That's why school leaders say it's important for parents to apply for free and reduced meals. And now the reduced meals will be free for students across the state. We don't want them charged for any meal that uh, that they could get for free. Starting this school year in Fort Smith, the price for your kid to eat lunch in elementary school will go from $2.50 to $2.75. In middle and high school, it increases from $2.75 to $3. That adds up to right around $500 per child for lunch for the 178 days that kids are in school. It's not something you can sweep away. It's still real money coming out of people's pockets. Charles Warren is chief financial officer for Fort Smith Public Schools. He says more than 70% of students qualify for free or reduced meals. It amounts to nearly $5 million in federal funds for the school district. But Warren says not all parents fill out the federal applications and some are missing out. Some people may be surprised that the income levels are high enough that they might actually qualify, if not for a free meal, but for a reduced price meal. It's based on household size and income. According to the USDA, a family of four with a yearly income at or less than $39,000 would qualify for free meals. A family of four with an income of $55,500 a year or less would qualify for reduced priced meals. And now those meals will be free for all Arkansas students, grades K through 12. Act 656 allows us to now reduce the charge of a reduced meal to zero. The new law directs the Department of Education to use state and federal funds to reimburse school districts for the cost of reduced priced meals. Right now, that's 40 cents per meal in Fort Smith. For two years during the pandemic, all meals were free but not anymore. A lot of parents got used to not filling out that free and reduced application. They started accumulating charges that they fully couldn't comprehend. In Fort Smith, parents now owe more than $250,000 in unpaid lunch bills. And when it comes to the overall cost of the child nutrition program, Warren says. It's not self-sufficient. Every dollar that we don't collect from a full pay student is a dollar that we're gonna have to take from some other resource. Families who receive SNAP benefits automatically qualify for free school meals. And Warren says there's additional funds out there for school districts, but that the applications for free and reduced meals must be turned in by September 25th. Now tonight at six, just how much Warren says school lunches should cost in order to cover the school nutrition program. In Fort Smith, Brett Rains, 4029 News.